ಭೋಯಂತು ವಿಶ್ವ age 21 no, years abruption. a primary with uh, 28 to 30 weeks gestational age with sure. imminent eclampsia with It's abruption okay. leave, leave this because there is a big cause imminent eclampsia abruption we don't want this we want the baby died in the uterus without any cause we are investigating the cause right yes sir tell me the changes they occur in the dead baby in the uterus Initial how does the patient comes to you With will she come and tell you my baby is dead in the uterus De either decrease perception or absent perception of fetal she will movements. come with either loss of fetal loss movements of or decrease fetal movements no yes, have you heard of something like movement alarm signal whose movement and whose alarm baby's decrease in fetal movement gives alarm to mother that fetal heart is going to stop within 24 hours rush to hospital that is movement alarm signal so loss of fetal movement last four days patient come how you investigate should do this out we will see if the heartbeat is present sir present term. by doppler by stethoscope by fetoscope by In pinard's fetoscope initially by stethoscope then we will confirm it by ultrasound doppler sir if so you can confirm so what signs you get on an ultrasound examination what findings you get baby died 24 hours back what are the first 24 hour sign spalding sign robert sign no Rob sir no, wants yeah, yeah. my specific puchha yeah. classify them in the order of their appearance sir, ah. in the first, baby first 24 hours what signs delivered. will appear if the sir. baby is delivered uh, within six, after 6 hours uh, there will be brownish discoloration of the no, umbilical no, no, cord no no no, no. no. listen listen no. listen carefully baby died in the uterus yes, within first 24 hours what findings you get on ultrasound Absent or after 24 hours what activity. findings you get absent fetal cardiac that's going to be there the diagnosis yes. is are you afd dilated cardiac chamber ha huh. gas Then. filled cardiac chambers will be there the first sign all the gases the blood is going to clot and all the gases in the blood they are going to liberate so great vessels will have gases and heart chambers, heart chambers will have gas then there is slight subcutaneous edema these are the two first 24 hour sign then what happens when you expect spalding to occur Oh, overlapping skull bones how long it will take to occur since uh, uh, more than 48 hours 48 hours 20, 24 to 48 until and unless brain matter liquefies, liquefies. the days. skull bones cannot collapse 7 days 7 days irreversible collapse is this one so it's not days. it is not molding it is spalding spalding hmm? what else amniotic fluid Spalding. changes in af reduce increase remain static tobacco colored it becomes that's color quantity it becomes reduces. It reduced progressively going on reducing, reducing. reducing. what else sir less than 6 hours uh, there is desquamation of uh, skin and uh, reddish brown discoloration of the umbilical cords see i i the I baby who delivers when i examine the baby is having slightly Uh, dusky brownish color skin and at times over the thighs abdomen the skin is peeled so many places babies having blisters blebs now why why all these changes they have taken place if membranes are ruptured gas gangrene uh, membranes have not uh, ruptured no infection has no. set in aseptic degeneration process called maceration necrobiosis Necrobi what is this change autolysis occurs A septic autolysis. A septic autolysis. So subcutaneous fat, the subcutaneous vessels, the gas is liberated and blebs are going to form. And when the baby is coming out or with the movement, the blebs can be peeled, and baby can have peeled skin. Anything else now? Treatment. One minute, sir. Huh, sir uh, please, this add, add, Spalding add, add, add. sign. Uh, is it a sonological sign, a radiological X -ray. sign, or a clinical sign? Sir, cl clinically Clinic. we can feel by like actual no uh, very specific spalding sign is it a clinical sign a radiological sign or a sonological sign or ct sign it's a both imageological as well as clinical sign clinical. you can feel it 
you can demonstrate it and you can prove it so in the uh, before in the pre scan era it used to be on radiology radiology radiograph now it is on uh, sono and you can do it on ct as well as other imaging modalities as well uh, uh, now how exactly you elicit so you are asking history from a mother who has lost her baby as a iufd iud how will you elicit the history whether there was a uh, peeling of the skin or not what history you want to elicit from the mother how you elicit whether it is a fresh iud or a macerated iud time since uh, how will what you ask the patient loss of moments uh, period huh? period of loss of moments no from the history you want to elicit whether she delivered a macerated baby or fresh till born how will you elicit and what is its implications on the subsequent pregnancy management see patient delivered iufd from asking the mother how you come to know it was a fresh till birth or a macerated still birth but color of the umbilical cord uh, whether there is peeling of peeling skin. of skin how the mother will tell no tell in telugu how will you ask in telugu and what will be the response of the mother in telugu exact wordings okay okay so charmanto uh, yes uh, no 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 problem uh, so what are the broad principles of management of iufd three principles sir it's a peeling of skin like a, a brinjal skin appearance burnt brinjal skin appearance because you will not be able to understand the telugu wording sir uh, uh here you can tell no uh, they, they make bayangan bartham so it's uh, so they burn it uh, in, in, no it, it can be from the mother if she was shown the baby or it can be from the relative of the patient who has seen the baby or it can be her uh, peers history she would have heard from peers it is a burnt brinjal skin appearance no so we would like to know the i don't know the word no i'll tell you at the end of the session not not broad principles broad principles of management of iud in modern obstetrics i will repeat my question See. in modern obstetrics what are the broad principles of management of iud 1 2 3 and stop yes period of observation spontaneously we can wait for 2 weeks nobody does weeks. once you tell patient no. your baby is dead yes, you you mother in law is on your head the patient will go terminate. to your neighbor the patient will go to your neighbor consultant hmm. uh, from uh, hyderabad they will go to telangana Tel telangana they will come to ap ap or even chennai they may come to karnataka mm. they may come to me also mm. yes next so based on the bishop score we will so the first first one is confirm the iud by whatever means you have and convince the uh, patient Counseling. and her relatives uh, preferably you show them a frame or uh, live or whatever it is this one secondly allow the patients and relatives to grieve this incident see they should be allowed to grieve that is the second third one is decide the mode of delivery management and this management medical medical and medical only no surgical, no surgical intervention intervention third thing is effective suppression of breast Lactation. milk breast milk and uh, subsequent contraception and lastly counseling about the possibility of recurrence and retrospective inquiry into the possible potential causes of iud in this pregnancy that may have implication on subsequent pregnancy second pregnancy uh, i think uh, i can't be crisper than this sir if you have got anything to add yeah i have fetus stop movements and lost its life sorry is the husband and sad is wife liker slowly decrease muscle loss tone gas collected in great great vessels and collapse skull bone investigate her carefully support her mentally investigate for coagulation take care of infection treatment is induction and then suppress the lactation investigate for cause give one year pause this is all about fetal demise hope the next pregnancy will be thank you thank you thank you uh, madam